Hi, my name is Dr. Eli Tabari, and if you're watching this right now, I'm sure you'd rather be somewhere else, like at a beach or Disneyland or at an 80s music party. Because today I'm going to talk about third molars, otherwise known as wisdom teeth, and some questions to answer. Uh, first question is, why do you need wisdom teeth uh, taken out? Well. Wisdom teeth may cause pain. That's the you know the initial reason uh, to have them out. They may cause other problems like damage to the adjacent teeth. They may cause gum inflammation or gum infection. Uh, rarely they're associated with benign cysts and benign tumors. And sometimes your orthodontist, if you want to get braces or Invisalign, they need room. They need your front teeth that are crowding to move back, so they want these wisdom teeth out so they have that room. So those are some of the reasons to think about taking uh, wisdom teeth out. Other questions that uh, patients ask me is, uh, you know, so-and-so has only two wisdom teeth or three wisdom teeth or no wisdom teeth. Well, the thing is, it's a variable number. Most people have four, but some may only have three or two, or even the lucky ones may not have any. So uh, it's a variable in number. Now, why did uh, wisdom teeth come about? How did they, you know, through evolutionary time, you know, wise, why did they come about? Well, it so happens that uh, us humans, uh, we used to have bigger jaws. Uh, now, throughout the years, our jaws have gotten smaller, but we've retained the same number of teeth. Uh, and goodness for that, because then we'd all look like quagmire. Giggity giggity. But uh, the problem with having smaller jaws but the same number of teeth is that these, these uh, late development teeth, which are your third molars, could come out in weird arrangements and morphology, and that's how they can cause problems. So that is the reason why sometimes they look different or they act different than uh, other uh, teeth. And also, these are the most uh, late forming teeth, and they usually come out uh, in your teenage years, and they are called so-called wisdom teeth because they usually start to erupt when you're older in age, and kind of in your mid to late teens, and where you have a little bit more knowledge, uh, that's why they're called wisdom teeth. Um, now, the other questions is, are there risks to taking these teeth out? Uh, you know, everything in life has risks, and uh, there are some risks, and that depends on how, what we term, impacted the teeth are, uh, meaning how embedded the teeth are in bone, or how, uh, how unlike they look like they've erupted like normal teeth. Um, so depending on that, it depends how much risk there is, but usually, uh, you have to think of wisdom teeth as uh, hard tissue that you're taking out of another hard tissue that it's embedded in, the bone. So there's going to be possibly some pain, bleeding, swelling, minor risk of infection from the procedure itself. Uh, two major anatomic uh, landmarks that can cause uh, uh, some comorbidities are the inf the inferior alveolar nerve. Now this is a nerve that runs in your lower jawbone and it's embedded in a canal. And if this nerve gets damaged when we take out the third molars as it is a risk factor, you might have a numb lip uh, on, on the lower side, on that side that it got damaged, okay? Uh, another nerve that we worry about is something called the lingual nerve, which is under, underneath the side of your tongue on either side. Uh, this is a little uh, less risky, less common injury, but if that gets damaged, some parts of your tongue and sensory information to your tongue will get damaged. Uh, both of these are unlikely, but can't say it's 0% as they both involve the risks. Uh, other uh, aspects to think about is that people, patients ask me, will I have a droopy lip? No, that's a different nerve. You will not have a droopy lip. That's a nerve that runs in, you know, on your neck that is far, far away from where we're doing uh, the, this uh, procedure. Uh, so, those are some of the risks of third molar. Another question is, uh, 
do every third molar need to be uh, extracted? And uh, the answer to that is uh, certainly not. And some third molars actually come out and they behave like normal teeth and they help you chew and eat your food. Uh, and some, sometimes they don't need to be uh, extracted, uh, taken out. Um, other times they can come out like normal teeth, but they might have a cavity, in which case most likely uh, instead of treating that cavity or putting a filling or a crown, it will be maybe better to take the tooth out. So it's all variable and all depends on the certain situation, um, as this is kind of a complex issue. Um, then another aspect is imaging. You know, most likely uh, your, your dentist or your oral surgeon that you're going to have uh, your wisdom teeth removed or your third molars removed is going to have what's called a panoramic x-ray. This is a two-dimensional x-ray which gives us a lot of information, basically where the position of the teeth are, how much bone is around the teeth, and also it gives the location of that inferior alveolar nerve, you know, the nerve that gives sensory information to your lower lip. So the dentist could make certain decisions on whether how risky it is. However, in certain other times where the panoramic x-ray uh, shows that there's a high risk, the dentist might, might also want to have something called a comb beam CT. And what that does, it's actually a CAT scan and it takes pictures and slices and shows a third dimension of that area. So we can get more information about how close it is to that uh, vital nerve and then we can make a decision after getting uh, those images if need be. So, as I said, complex process, uh, which involves, you know, the decision-making by the patient and the explaining by the dentist. Uh, another factor that I won't dive into because it's a whole set of, you know, a whole set of circumstances on itself is that if you're anxious about having your wisdom teeth taken out, there's a couple ways we could do it. One way, which is, you know, the most... Uh, common way is we just numb the area, like how you would go to a dental office to get a filling or a crown. You numb the area and you take the teeth out. Most of the time, this won't cause you pain and it may cause some pressure. You might feel a feeling of pulling, pushing. You might hear some noises, popping, cracking. You also hear a drill, okay, most of the time. However, if the patient is anxious, you have other options of sedation, which essentially means giving you uh, sedation, pretty much putting you, what we term as putting you to sleep, to make the procedure more comfortable. So all these factors should be discussed with your dentist uh, for your informed discussion about having your third molars removed.